Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Epcot and it is officially July now so that means it is super hot in Florida but that's okay because I love going to Epcot when it's super hot out. Just walking around World Showcase, snacking on some food and listening to music is one of my favorite things to do during summer so I figured it was a perfect day to come on out, ride some rides, eat some food and have a cozy Epcot kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, we have sailed to Epcot. And like I mentioned, it's hot out today. The temperature is 95, but it feels like 100 because the humidity is at 45%. But I'm excited to ride some rides and try some of the new food here. I know that there is a couple of festival food items that are new and I haven't tried yet so I want to show you guys those but also we were thinking about going to Regal Eagle for a little barbecue back in the American Pavilion and plus I love their banana pudding there. It doesn't look that crowded in the parks today except for that gigantic cheer group over there so hopefully the wait times aren't going to be that long and also I would love to ride Guardians of the Galaxy if I can because I love that ride. Holy moly, look at this. It is 322 and a virtual queue and individual lightning lanes are available for Guardians of the Galaxy. How amazing is that? I'm actually going to join the virtual queue. I mean, I'm doing it. So that definitely tells me it's not a busy day today here at Epcot. If both the Lightning Lane and the Virtual Queue are still available for Guardians at almost 4 p.m., then it's, it can't be that busy out. I mean, unless everyone wants to just hang out outside because it's such a beautiful day. It's definitely not, like, hot enough to not want to come to the parks. Like, sometimes it's so hot out, like, I'll walk in and get up to, like, Spaceship Earth and then turn around and just be like, nope, nope, not doing it today. Just like I mentioned, there is some new festival food that I haven't tried yet. And uh, the Farmer's Feast always has the menu that changes throughout the year. So they have early bloom, they have springtime, and then they have the summer menu. And for summer, they've got a barbecue seared pork tenderloin and a sweet corn creme brulee. A sweet corn creme brulee, that sounds amazing. I could smell how amazing that is right now. Especially with the uh, pork back there too. You guys grilling up pork, oh, yeah. making some creme brulee. This is nice. How cool was that, that they actually prepare the creme brulee right in front of you? I thought that was so awesome. I was kind of a little mesmerized there. And uh, I'm sad to see Flower and Garden go, but I'm glad I get to try everything. And food and wine is right around the corner. Literally, it'll be here not too long. And I'm excited, I love food and wine. Here is the barbecue seared pork tenderloin with summer succotash and herb butter with a grapefruit vinaigrette. This sounds so fancy and it gives you two pieces of pork. I like how they kind of cut it and then dragged it over. And then the uh, corn, uh, sweet corn creme brulee, which I've never had uh, like a like corn creme brulee before. So I'm excited to try it. I do love creme brulee though. I'm gonna try the pork and the succotash first. And I'm excited for this grapefruit vinaigrette. I don't even know what to expect there. Oh, the pork is nice. There you go, cut a nice little spot there. Grab a little of that succotash on there. Some succotash, I just like saying succotash. Honestly, this whole entire flavor like profile was unexpected. I don't know what I was going in. Like I thought I was gonna taste a lot of barbecue sauce. Maybe I didn't get any barbecue sauce. Oh, I didn't. I think I was just getting that grapefruit vinaigrette. Wow, so that's probably why. The first bite was just grapefruit vinaigrette, which was amazing, but I was like, this doesn't taste like barbecue at all, but I like it. Now I'm gonna see what it's like with, look at the char on there. Look at that. So they're cooking this pork right behind where they're making the creme brulee, right on the, uh, right on the grill there. I like that. That's the way, that's how you do it. The pork is good. I think I like it just with the grapefruit vinaigrette better. I mean, I like the barbecue, but the, that grapefruit vinaigrette was really good. And now it's time to get to the creme brulee. Oh, I grabbed a different fork because I don't want to use the same one. No one's got time for barbecue in their creme brulee. So here we go. Oh, listen to that. Look at it. You can break right through there. 
nice corn texture. I wonder if it's gonna be like, oh, I thought maybe it would have been like, maybe like chunks of corn in the center there, but ooh, either way, I'm excited. As I'm sitting here, I'm definitely starting to feel the heat a little bit. It's starting to get a little hot, a little sweaty. There's no shade over in this area. They need more shade. It's definitely a unique creme brulee, I can tell you that. But I'm here for it. I actually enjoy it a lot. It's not sweet. It does taste like sweet corn, but it's not like overly sweet. I would actually run it a little savory, you know, because of the corn taste itself. But wow, I kind of like it. I like it a lot. Both of these dishes are phenomenal. I feel like they should have started off with them because I think these are the best ones. I mean, I know that they usually have uh, like a uh, potato and leek soup and then a strawberry rhubarb pie, but these literally stole the show for me. Very good. The food was amazing, and I'm still shocked by that uh, corn creme brulee. And now we're gonna keep moving along. I actually wanna start making my way over into World Showcase because I think we're gonna go ride Frozen. And then also, Living Color is performing live here tonight at the Garden Rocks Theater. And you know, they, they sing that song, uh, Cult of Personality, and that was my favorite song to play on Guitar Hero, so I'd love to see them live, if we can. But we're gonna be over there anyway. For the longest time, this refreshment station with the frozen Coke slushies has been closed, but they opened it back up. Look at that. Fancy. A Fanta banana. Look at this. Assorted candies and caramel and blueberries. They like legitimately have toppings. And I'm a little concerned about the caramel and blueberries at once. I feel like you should put that on a banana. A Fanta banana, caramel, and blueberry. That actually sounds gross. <laughs> This used to be just like a uh, misting station where they served uh, Coca-Cola products. I don't think they have the misters up anymore, but now it's just uh, back to uh, being open for frozen Coke and toppings. So you get a frozen beverage, either Coke or banana, and then they have toppings they can put on top of it. I don't know, they're all like gummies. Oh, Pop Rocks, Rock Candy, Swedish Fish, lots of good stuff. One of the things I don't understand though is if they have caramel or caramel as a topping, they only have two flavors of frozen products, either Coca-Cola and banana. But caramel doesn't go with any of that. Like, would you put caramel in your Coke or caramel on your banana? I guess caramel on the banana doesn't sound too bad, but I don't think I'm gonna try it. We've made our way into World Showcase and we're gonna head on over to Frozen and ride it. I don't know how long the wait time is, but it's something we've been wanting to ride for a while. I'm gonna be meeting up with some friends later on, but uh, I can't wait to actually just get inside Frozen because that ride is such a great ride to go to, especially in a hot day like today. Hey, what'd you just creep up on me? I didn't even see it. It is hot, it is hot. <laughs> Before we head to Frozen, I needed to come over to China so we can meet up with more of our friends. And I love the China Pavilion. It's so cool, especially when you go far back. If you go deep into the back of the pavilion, they have a lot of cool drinks and snacks. I'm sure you guys see me eat here plenty of times. And maybe we'll grab a drink. We stopped off in the back to get ourselves some Chinese beer, a little Sing Sao, premium lager. Look at that. I love Sing Sao. And we have made it to Norway and we also met up with all of our friends. Look at this. Got the whole group here. It's a hot day. Ready for some Epcot, for some Regal Eagle, maybe some Living Color. Yeah. Yeah, Cult of Personality. Yeah, you know. You gotta know that song. You have to know. You were singing it, I swear, I thought. Maybe it was you singing it. Oh, okay. Oh. But it looks like Frozen is sitting at a 75 minute wait, which is kind of like the usual here. Frozen is a very, very popular attraction. And once Guardians drops the uh, virtual queue, I bet you the wait time for this ride will go down a lot. This is the line for the lightning lane right here. And as you can see, there's hardly anybody in line for standby, but it's still a 75 minute wait because all of the lightning lane has to go in before the standby line. 
honestly, just being inside for a couple of minutes, I already feel so much cooler and relaxed. This is, like I said, one of the perfect rides to get out of the heat and just kind of cool off a little bit. The proclamation over there makes it officially a summer snow day. A summer snow day. I wish it was a snow day with these temps. I know, it's nice and refreshing in here though. Hi, how are ya? Ooh, we got the front row. Front row, you don't say. You wet. may get wet. It's a little wet already. <laughs> was such a fun ride and as we were in there waiting for the attraction it actually rained and stopped raining in that time frame so we came out it's back to being sunny but I feel like the humidity probably went up like 20% because now it is super hot and humid out once you get off frozen you have to walk through the gift shop and they sell the uh, essence of Norway in there it's a cologne and a perfume that's uh, supposed to smell like Norway and it's uh, Guernese and we actually got a uh, free sample look at that he was in there he was signing things I can't believe I met, met the guy, guy who's yeah the lotion. you met the man who makes your favorite lotion think that? about that that's some good stuff you gave me a bookmark with the old Epcot logo well smell it a smelly bookmark with the old Epcot logo on it. <laughs> Some people come. Now I am covered because even though I am super hot and very sweaty, at least I am going to smell nice because I've got the essence of Norway with me. A little ganis. Now it is time to head on into Regal Eagle Smokehouse and get a little American barbecue. This is the best barbecue from all around the country. They take some Kansas City barbecue, some Memphis, some Texas, some North Carolina, and they put together a nice little menu here. And we're going to try some of it. In fact, I think we're going to try all of it. We are definitely going to try to catch the next show for Living Color and I didn't want to stick around and listen to the song because I want to hear it as we're sitting down and I think the next one's at 6.45 so we have just enough time to go grab something to eat. In case you didn't know, the reason they call this Regal Eagle Smokehouse is because it's Sam Eagle's Smokehouse. And they're doing a Sam Centennial Cook-Off. A salute to all cook-offs, but mostly barbecue. A competition fit for patriots and pit masters alike. Annual event located at Regal Eagle Smokehouse. Isn't that kind of cool? And get a little bit of the best of all. It's very patriotic in here. Very. Look at Kristen here, getting everything. 
<laughs> Look at this. <laughs> when you come to Regal Eagle on the 4th of July, you have to do a big. So we had to get everything. Got everything. That's a lot of food. And like I mentioned, one of my favorite banana puddings is actually here. So of course we got the banana pudding. I cannot wait to eat the banana pudding. And on top of that, some watermelon. Who doesn't like watermelon on a nice July day? Kristen is attempting at eating all of this food in under four minutes. You think I can do it? I think you can. <laughs> four minutes, she's gonna eat everything you see right here. Today feels like a dessert first type of day. And like I said, I've been hyping up this banana pudding, so I'm diving in. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the pudding, and then I'm gonna take one of these little wafers, I'm gonna put it on top there, so that we can have a perfect bite. Look at that. I feel like that's gonna fall off. Maybe I should shake it off first. There we go. That's the way. I honestly can't understand why I love this banana pudding so much. It has such a unique banana taste to it. I, I can't pinpoint it, but I've had lots of banana pudding before, but there's just something about this one that I enjoy much more than others. There's something about it. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> onion ring for you? Onion ring I'll take an onion ring, sure thing. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Oh, I like this one. Fancy. You think these are best on your rings? Nothing like a little onion ring after eating uh, a whole cup of banana pudding. Crazy world, lots of smells. I like how the burger that you can get here comes with a little American flag in it. And also, there's no cheese on it. There's no cheese on that burger. Wow, I feel like that's perfect. I don't know about all those house-made pickles, though. I know uh, back in the day, you used to be able to stop at some places and just get those pickles for free. You know, Cosmic Rays, oh, yeah. yeah. You used to walk in and just get pickles. Now it's a side that you have to pay for. Kristen's doing pretty good so far. It's only been two and a half minutes. It's been two and a half minutes. She's doing pretty good. Come on, Kristen. A minute and a half left. <laughs> Regal Eagle was fantastic. I enjoyed my banana pudding a lot. And also, I got a couple of cups of watermelon. The watermelon here is phenomenal. And Kristen is doing her video where she's eating all the menu. And now I think it's time to head out and uh, go to see uh, Living Color, Cult of Personality. Making decisions on the fly. We don't know what we're doing. That's so, okay. Neither do you. You don't know what we're doing either. That's a real man. There's no preconceived set list.
awesome and kind of amazing because I'm not too sure if you guys can see it like in the video but the lead singer literally went and walked away and got a turkey leg and then came back and started singing while eating the turkey leg like it was so impressive but I loved hearing the music and uh, yeah now we're gonna keep moving along and oh we're actually gonna start making our way over to Guardians of the Galaxy because I'm sure our uh, lightning lane or our uh, virtual queue is probably called by now some more live music as we start making our way around world showcase Ooh, and uh, it looks like uh, a little dancing too Look at all of these birds and ducks. They're waiting for some food. Nobody's actively feeding them right now, but they know this is the spot. Look at, they get right up to you. They'll come right over. They don't hesitate. And if you like take your eyes off your food for one second, it's gone. It's gone, baby, gone. All right, it's time for us to make our way to Guardians. The moment I've been waiting for all night. Our boarding group has been called. Hopefully, it's not a long line, though. Oh, someone's clapping. Woo! We were able to buy a lightning lane and a virtual, join the virtual queue. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to ride it twice. I'm not too sure how that works. But uh, our lightning lane time is now, and our boarding group was called. So, might as well. I mean, <laughs> if we can ride it twice, that'd be great. I'm glad we bought the lightning lane because this is a very long line for the standby and if we don't get off in time enough I don't know if we're gonna be able to ride it twice because this is like super long holy moly probably at least I'd say an hour I'd give that an hour and a half maybe Oh. Greetings Terrence I am Nova Prime Irani Royale. Irani Royale. On behalf of I just want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation. understand why Disney thought it was a good idea to have this nor like narrow corridor for people to go through it really makes it tight quarters while we are sitting here what's everyone's picks for songs my favorite song a popular opinion is I ran I ran I have never gotten September and I've ridden this ride at least 30 times Wow we're gonna have to go with Earth Wind and Fire which one Earth Wind and Fire huh I'm all tears for fears. Uh, tears for fears. fears. I want September because I just love Green Day so much. Yeah, I know. Wake me up when September ends. Here it comes. Oh, I'm 
As soon as we got off of Guardians, look at this! Spaceship Earth has transformed into the American flag. Wow, that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. Huh. It's really cool that uh, Joffrey's is open after the park closes and usually I like to get like a coffee from here, but I'm kind of intrigued by this awesome drink right here. It's literally an awesome drink. I think I'll take that. Awesome drink. <laughs> it doesn't look that awesome when you get it in a cup like this, but I'm excited to try it. It's pretty awesome. And with that, I think we are done here today. A wonderful Epcot kind of day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just hanging out, riding rides, eating some food, and just uh, relaxing. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Where is my little, oh, there she is. Crazy Goo. Oh, what are you doing? You wanna go for a walkie? Huh? All right, come on, let's go.